Hello, I am Alex Jaco C, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Vidya Academy of Science and Technology, Kerala. Today, in this session, we are discussing about orthographic projections of points. Already we know what is orthographic projection and how to draw the orthographic projection of machine elements from the previous sessions. And today's topics uh, is about the basic information needed for orthographic projections and the notations used in orthographic projections and the four quadrants concept and how to rotate HP to get the orthographic projections and how to draw the projections of points. We are concentrating on points. Uh, for drawing an orthographic projections, we need three important informations. One is object, that means uh, with a uh, well defined description in a well defined manner and the observer the observer is always uh, looking uh, perpendicular to the respective reference plane and the uh, rays from the eyes are going parallel uh, the third thing is location of object means uh, according to HP and VP where the object uh, in the space or in the uh, in the position of the object as with respect to HP and VP and when we are considering HP we will say above HP or below HP uh, when we are considering this VP we can say in front of and uh, behind VP okay now here the notations the common notations used in orthographic projections if the object is the point a you can see this capital letter we should represent the top view as small a and front view a dash and the side view a double dash the line about the line you can see two points are the line a b and now here for top view small letter a and small letter b a dash b dash a double dash b double dash for the side view okay uh, for the numbers also will uh, follow the same uh, system of notations like one uh, one dash for front view one double dash for side view here we can see the vp hp and the four quadrants constructed by vp and hp first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant clear and uh, the observer is looking from here and we are getting front view here and uh, the top view on the hp and uh, when we are looking from this uh, we can see a point which one is that point the point represents x and sorry x y line represents the x y line here one more thing is the uh, one more thing is the uh, when we are rotating HP 90 degree downwards from the previous session we know that uh, for getting top view in the 2d form we have to rotate the HP downwards when we are rotating HP downwards when we are rotating HP downwards uh, the HP will come here at the same time this end of HP will come up when we are rotating 90 degree downwards this side will rotate 90 degree upwards so anything in this region will come here and here it will come here so we should understand the rotation of HP here and uh, when we are considering the four quadrants also we have to think about this rotation of HP it will rotate only in clockwise direction here we can see the four quadrants this points denotes the XY line and this is the first quadrant second quadrant and third again and fourth so observer is looking from here we can see the four quadrants and these four quadrants needed for drawing uh, orthographic projections of points so when a point is in uh, first quadrant we can simply 
understand this when we are looking from this from here the observer is here when we are looking from here we can see the front view in vp and top view on hp but we have to rotate hp downwards you can see that so this front view will not be changing because vp we are not rotating we are only rotating hp clockwise direction 90 degree to uh, 90 degree downwards and now we are seeing a dash that means front view here and we are getting the top view here we are rotating that and we are writing the top view a because we are the notation for the top view will be the small letter uh, in the second quadrant we know that we have to rotate HP when we are rotating 90 degree down, down, no, 90 degree downward. This side will go up. Okay, so you can see that the point is here, and the front view will be shown on VP, and the top view will be on HP. Point A, you can see capital A because this is the original position of the point, and the point is original. But this point, this is front view so we denoted it as a dash and the top view we cannot write it here we have to bring it here and we can see now we can write it on the top view a likewise in third quadrant also we will rotate hp downwards this end will go here in the we can have the front view here we are rotating the top view to the this plane and we are seeing the top view here in the fourth quadrant we are rotating hp downwards uh, we are seeing a dash front view here and uh, top view here from this we can understand one thing in the first quadrant the top view will be below xy line and the front view will be above xy line in the second quadrant both the front view and top view will be above xy line in the third quadrant we are having top view on top view above the xy line front view below the xy line in the case of fourth quadrant what happened a and a dash that means top view and front view will be below xy line so you can see this in front view Sorry, in the first quadrant, uh, the front view will be above XY line and uh, top view will be below, just opposite in third quadrant. Second quadrant, both the points above XY line, just opposite in the fourth quadrant. That means uh, below XY line, both the uh, points, uh, front, both the views are in, both the views are representing in the, uh, represented below the x y line okay and uh, we are seeing some projections here i will show you uh, you can understand all these things i will explain uh, here look uh, here uh, the point a is in first quadrant so we are getting a dash here and a here okay and we are drawing the orthographic projections like this we are drawing xy line first and we are drawing a dash that means we are getting a dash here the distance the distance between xy line and uh, a dash or a you can see the uh, state as a the distance between a and horizontal plane and that same distance we can uh, use here represent this a dash and uh, the point a is here from the point a to the v mm, to the vp we are having some dimensions or measurements that same dimension will come here below the x y line okay likewise here another case the point is in vp the point a is in vp so the front view will be there in the vp itself and when we are looking from the top we can see the top view in top view on xy line so that's what uh, shown here a dash is here and uh, a 
top view is here. The point A is here, just below that we are getting the top view. Same case we are here, the not the same case, uh, something different, but the point is in HP. So we are getting front view on xy line front view on xy line and the top view below xy line so it is clear uh, when a point is in first quadrant we are having the front view above xy line and top view below xy line we have to draw uh, in the case of uh, if the point is in vp we have to draw the top view on xy line and the front view above xy line uh, when the point is on HP, we have to draw front view on XY line and the top view below the XY line according to the dimensions. So, today's session is over. The summary when we uh, now we can uh, understand the notations and we got the basic information which needed for orthographic projections, the four quadrants concept and how to rotate HP. In clockwise direction, uh, how to draw the projections of points. Thank you.